Make sure you stay until the end. People make a common mistake that can cost you thousands of dollars, so we'll share what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai or Kia with a 2.4 GDI engine guys or any GDI engine and you have check engine light on and any of the following codes which is called P0520, 521, 522 or 523. Stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. If you don't fix it on time, you're actually risking damaging your engine to the point that you may need the engine replaced. Also, there is one common mistake people make, okay, when they uh, actually fix that, that problem and we'll explain what it is. If you don't do it right, you can actually burn the electronics on your car. All that will be covered in this video today before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now if you need to buy parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said, you can see this is guys the engine, 2.4 GDI engine. If you need to find a good scanner to scan the codes, okay, find what's wrong with your engine. Many of you have requested that information. This is the scanner that we use daily at the shop. It can pay itself off in one time use. I'll put the link in the description of the video below so you can see where okay uh, where you can get it from okay and how much it costs in the current features it works on any car you can think of it's amazing too and the ikea is right here so check it out if you need a good scanner guys so uh, with that being said what you need to do in order to uh, diagnose these codes okay these codes most likely indicate that you have problem okay with low oil pressure or the oil pressure sensor being inactive this is your oil pressure sensor that's what it looks like guys in order to get to the oil pressure sensor okay you will need to remove the intake manifold so if you need to see a video how to remove the intake manifold or how to replace oil pressure sensor we have the video on the channel but we'll explain what else can go wrong when you guys okay remove the intake manifold to get to the oil pressure sensor you have here a wire that's coming from the 12 volt battery to the alternator and one to the engine starter if you touch it with a tool you can short the electronics engine computer modules and that can cost you thousands of dollars to fix another thing uh, you will need to disconnect the car battery so you can avoid that but disconnecting the car battery really matters which battery terminal you disconnect first and which one you reconnect first if you do it the wrong way again you can cause damage to the uh, to the electrical system guys so we have a special video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect first so let's talk about the sensor so uh, what means if you have these codes it means that most likely guys you have bad communication with the sensor so what i recommend to check is the wiring harness okay the sensor will be located on the engine block right there and this is the connector make sure you remove it most of the times it's a single wire because this is just an on and off switch it doesn't actually uh, detect the actual oil pressure it's practically if it reaches a certain amount of pressure it uh, turns the light off if uh, drops to certain amount of pressure it turns the light back on it's practically on and off switch that's triggered by oil pressure so you have only one wire make sure it's clean it's good not broken it's not pulled from the connector also if you look at it if you follow that wire it will come to like okay check it out it will come to the intake manifold uh, it will be mounted on the intake manifold on the side this is the oil, oil pressure wire it connects here as well to a second connector okay so you can disconnect it okay and inspect this one as well make sure it's good but either you have a loose wire broken wire or bad oil pressure sensor in some cases it could be a bad oil filter guys okay that can trigger uh, that uh, that code as well in the light so uh, I'll recommend okay never to drive if you have the oil light on or any of these codes never start your engine until you find out what's wrong we have a video how to test oil pressure sensor as well on our channel hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time